everybody, I'm Skin Deep Beauty Vlogger. I hope you're all really well. Um, today I'm going to be talking to you about the new MAC Hay Sailor collection. But before I get started, I just wanted to show you the candle that I've currently got burning. It smells amazing. It's from the, um, it's quite far down. I don't want to get hot wax everywhere, but it's from the um, Space NK own collection and it's the scent Wild Iris and I love this. It's a really room filling fragrance. So onto MAC. Before I start to show you the different products, I just want to touch briefly onto the controversy that's surrounding MAC at the moment. And I don't necessarily think this is the right forum for it, so I don't want to get into a massive debate, but I felt I couldn't do this video without at least mentioning it. Um, if you don't follow a lot of blogs or if you're not on Twitter, then you may not even know about this. MAC has always said that they're a cruelty-free brand, which is really fantastic, but the Chinese market is obviously massive and MAC want a piece of that. Um, to be able to sell makeup in China you have to test on animals. So there's a lot of controversy at the moment about the fact that MAC are now saying well the products you buy in Europe or US are still going to be cruelty free but as a brand we're now going to be testing on animals. So a lot of people are very annoyed and it's kind of, it sort of stirred up a lot of bad feeling that maybe people have been sitting on for a while about MAC, such as their bad customer service, which I do agree with. Uh, I'm not vegetarian, I wear leather, I think it would be massively hypocritical of me to sit here and say to everybody, go out, don't buy MAC, buy every other brand, because I, frankly I don't know enough about it. I know that there's other issues in China which I think are bigger, and I just want to do this video. I've touched on it, I don't want to start up a huge debate. So, I think MAC products, regardless of everything else, MAC products are wonderful quality. There's such a range of colours. Yes, there's other brands that you can buy things from, cheaper, a lot of duplicates. But I'm not going to be boycotting MAC at the end of the day. Um, the products here and in the US are still fine, they're not tested on animals. One of my other concerns about doing this video was that I know a lot of people, myself included, bemoan the fact that MAC have way too many limited edition collections. It's like every two weeks or something ridiculous. I can't even keep up. I've lost count. Um, so I'm going to be showing you products from the Hey Sailor collection. For all I know, they're going to be completely sold out by the time this video comes online and you're all going to hate me for showing you this video. So I'd like to know what your thoughts are on that. So please do put a comment. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on with the products. I've got five products from the Hey Sailor collection to show you. Nautical's a theme that comes around every summer. It's a real classic, so I'm quite excited to, that MAC have done this collection. I think it's really pretty pr products. I like it that they've put the packaging, they've done a special edition packaging for it. Because it kind of annoys me when they're like, oh, this product's limited edition. But really, they've just done an old re-promote in their usual packaging. So I like that this does feel like a special collection and I've got five products to show you from the collection. I'm wearing all of them on my face at the moment anyway, but I'm going to also do some swatches so you can see them a bit more clearly. The first product that I'm going to show you is the Pro Longwear Bronzing Powder and I've got the shade Sun Dipped. I'm very fair, I'm an NW15 in MAC, so I was a bit nervous about trying this, but it's actually a really lovely colour. This is a swatch on my ring finger here, I don't know if it's going to show up, I feel like I say this, there you go, I think you can see it. I feel like I say this in every video because I am still getting used to doing YouTube and I don't know what my lighting and sound is really like. So I'm always nervous of trying new bronzers because I think like, oh god, are they going to be too dark on my skin or too orange? This is actually, I was very pleasantly surprised with this, it's a very wearable colour. I haven't used it to do my contour, I've used my trusty Hoola by Benefit for that, but I have done it just to give me a sun-kissed look all over. So I really like that. There are two shades in the Pro Longwear Bronzing Powder, Sun Dipped, which I'm wearing, and the other one is called Nude On Board, and these are £22, it, £22 each. 
The next two products that I'm going to talk to you about are both eye colours. One is an eyeshadow and one is an eyeliner. I'll show you the eyeshadow first. I've got the shade Nautical Navy. which is a very pretty blue colour. There are five eyeshadow shades in the collection. I'm wearing this blue just on the crease of my, um, of my eye, sort of, and I've taken it down into a little bit of a V shape, so I'm just going to lean forward. Way beyond my technological abilities to be able to zoom in or anything, so I'm just going to lean into the camera. I don't know if you can see that. Ignore the gold that I've used as a colour wash because that's a Benefit shade. The gold colour is Benefit Creaseless Cream Shadow in the shade Fab Fahrenheit. Sorry, Fahrenheit Fab. I know it's a MAC video but I may as well just show you this as well because I do use this product a lot. just seen it on my eyes and this is just a swatch on my finger. Anyway, back to MAC. The eyeshadows are £12.50 each, so they are expensive, but um, there's a nice range of shades. There's a yellow, which isn't going to be particularly wearable to many people. There's this blue, there's a green, um, there's a white, I think that's called Crystal Avalanche. I believe that might be a repromote, but I could be wrong, I'm not sure. Um, and there's also a neutral shade. And as I mentioned, I've also got an eye pencil, and this is in the shade Emerald, Emerald Sea. I really like the packaging on this. There's a swatch for you. And I've also used this as a liner on my eye. I don't know how clear that's going to be. Um, there are three eye pencil shades. Um, a green, this one, blue and a neutral. And they're £14.50 each, so they are pricey. But it's really smooth, it doesn't drag at all. Good colour payoff. And I forgot to say, actually, that the pigmentation on those eyeshadows are amazing, as they always are for MAC. It is a really extensive collection, actually. I'm quite impressed with how many they've done. It's not like a half, half attempt. Oh, by the way, the nail colour I'm wearing, they have done nail polishes as part of the Hey Sailor collection, but this is OPI Dating a Royal. It's not from the MAC Hey Sailor collection. There's a red and a white in the nail, nail lacquer collection. Then I've got two lip products to talk to you lastly. There is a lipstick in, and this is an amplified cream lipstick. The lipsticks, there are four shades that they've done, and they're £14 each, so they are a little bit more expensive than your normal MAC lipsticks. The packaging is sort of a special edition. And with the lipsticks, there's a sort of orangey shade, there's a red, and two neutrals. Now this is by no means the sort of shade that I would normally go for, but I know a lot of people like their nudes, and this is a really nice peachy nude if this is the sort of thing that you go for. And this is called Salute or Salute. And this is it swatched here. I think I'm too pale to wear this colour, but if you've got a slightly darker complexion to me, then you may well like this. It has a really lovely creamy formula. Last but not least, I wanted to talk to you about the Sun Tints SPF 20 Liquid Lip Balm. Oops. I've got the shade Avalone. Is that how you pronounce it? I'm not too sure. Um, these are amazing. I'm wearing it on my lips at the moment, but 
I'm not too sure how much it's showing up. It's not very pigmented at all. It has a slight hint of a tint, but mainly it's just a high gloss sheen. I like that it has SPF in it. And the other thing that I like, just swatched it there for you. And this is it sort of spread out of it. I like the applicator. I like that it has SPF, as I said, I think. Um, it is really quite sticky. I think it's going to be fairly long lasting. It's massively magnetic for your hair, so if it's a windy day, don't wear this. But I really like it. There's only three shades available two which are natural and one pink shade, which is this one here. Um, they're £11.50 each, so they are pricey. You get 10 mils in this. But I think it's nice. If you're going to buy one of the lip products, then I would probably go for more for this for the summer than the lipsticks. Um, because of the SPF in it, it's got a kind of plasticky taste. This sounds horrible, I'm not describing it very well, but it really reminds me of summer. So I'm liking this, it's making me feel summery. And I like that it's got a little bit of pink on the packaging as well. I'm not too sure how helpful this video is going to have been because as I said, for all I know these products are all sold out. But do comment if you like it, if you don't like it. As I said before, I don't want this video to promote a big debate about MAC. So if you don't mind, please try and veer away from the comments being along those lines. Um, but if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and I hope to see you all again soon. Have a great day and thank you so much for watching.